We are very, very excited to be here today. It's a very exciting day for the project to officially celebrate the grand opening and ribbon cutting of Bone-In Barbecue. Thank you to Scott and his entire team that's here today. Uh, they've done an amazing job with this space. The Bull Street District has always been envisioned as a 20-year project, 181 acres. If you take the size of Bull Street and you were to lay the Vista and Five Points inside of Bull Street, there would be land still left. That's how big this site is, and we have been at work very hard for the last four years. Uh, four years, a little over four years into a 20-year project, and a lot has been accomplished. In just four years, we've laid two miles of new infrastructure. Uh, we've created four new streets in downtown Columbia, put 50 acres of land back on the tax rolls, uh, taken, purchased over 100 acres of land from the Department of Mental Health, built the private largest office building in the city of Columbia in the last nine years, restored three historic buildings uh, with at least six more to go, uh, built Spirit Communications Park, the best minor league ballpark in the country in the year 2016 that has broken every single attendance record in the Columbia's history. Over 860,000 visitors to this site, to Spirit Communications Park. We have two residential projects under construction now, more roads being built. There are probably four or five construction crews on the site today, hard at work, and more to come. So it's a very exciting time at Bull Street, very exciting time for Scott Hall to open. Uh, lunch is now being served here. The food is phenomenal. I hope everyone here tries some. I hope everyone that sees this on the news tonight comes out here tomorrow and eats some. Maybe not all tomorrow. Maybe it'll be like exactly. spread out a little bit. <laughs> but this is a really exciting place, and it's great to see all of Columbia supporting what is happening here. Bull Street has enormous potential. Uh, and it's with the support of great local restaurateurs like Scott, great local companies like T-Cube Solutions, now Capgemini, uh, the Columbia Fireflies. Everyone is making this district a reality and making it the most special place to be that it can possibly be. And we're just very appreciative and grateful as developers to have such great partners in the city. We'll hear from former Mayor Coble. Uh, we'll hear from current Mayor Benjamin. Just, it, it has been a wonderful partnership, and it's been a great project to work on, and we're really excited about everything that's been accomplished for the first four years and what's to come over the next 16 years as we finish Bull Street. So with that, I want to introduce Chandler Cox. She's a project manager at Hughes Development. She has actually led the, she led the development of this project, uh, of this building, the Inzer building, being transformed into bone-in barbecue on the ground floor and office space on the second floor. So with that, I'll hand it over to Chandler Cox from our team. Thank you. Thanks to everybody for being here today. We are really excited to open the first restaurant at Bull Street and of many to come and make this really one of the, the great neighborhoods in Columbia. Um, so one of the things that we, when we started this project was making sure that Bull Street was authentic to Columbia. It has so much history to both the city and the state and making sure that we um, pay respect to those things. And so by doing things like saving as many trees as we can and saving as many buildings as we can. So making it really authentic has been a big part of this all along. And having Scott Hall, one of the you know best restaurateurs in the city, um, well-known chefs, do the first restaurant here has been so important to us to making sure that we set the tone first, that this is the caliber that we will have at Bull Street. We will be great, we will be chef driven, we will be local, we will incorporate um, not just big national things, but make sure that we really are very authentic to Columbia and, um, and are really excited to be here today to celebrate with Scott and his team. And thank you to everybody here um, for, for coming out. And with that, I'd like to introduce Mayor Bob Coble. If you go back, this really started in 2004 and then in 2005 when we did the Dewani study. And from there, there was a South Carolina Supreme Court decision that even allowed this property to be sold. So a lot of work. Uh, generational change for Columbia and uh, I'm just very proud. I think today is such a, a historic building and it's a restaurant uh, and next to a ballpark. I, I don't think we ever could have dreamed that it would be make this much progress and be what it is, but this is a game changer for Columbia um, and while it is a long-term project, uh, I, I think it'll be one that we always remember uh, it's such an opportunity. Uh, with that, let me introduce Mayor Benjamin. Let me tell you what, how good a job Mayor Benjamin is doing. My wife saw him on TV and she said, oh, he is so good looking. He's just the best mayor Columbia has ever had. <laughs> I say, uh, I, when your wife says that and you're the former mayor, you know the guy's doing a good job. Mayor Benjamin. <laughs> Uh, 
I want to thank my friend Mayor Coble, or Beth rather, for that kind introduction, his beautiful wife. Uh, I think in my first day in Columbia, uh, my first few weeks, uh, September 11th, 1987, before many of you were born, and I remember standing on the beautiful and historic horseshoe at the University of South Carolina and having a, re having a revelation to myself about exactly what the potential of my life could be, standing in this historic space uh, surrounded with nothing but opportunity. And then I think of the story of, of, of Scott Hall uh, from here. Uh, in Colombia, went off to pursue his dreams in, in New York City, hone his craft, develop his skill, uh, came back here as an entrepreneur, hit the ground running uh, with his catering business, uh, with a food truck. We have endeavored to build in this city, Mayor Coble, uh, Councilman Duval, a wonderful chamber of commerce, all these entrepreneurs and civic leaders uh, behind me along with the Hughes family to create the most talented, educated, and entrepreneurial city in America, to be a place where our best and brightest can, yes, go off and, and do incredible things, but then come back home, come back home and help take this city up another notch, or two, or three, or four. Robbie Hughes laid out very beautifully, actually sounded somewhat mayoral, uh, that's a whole other story. I'm going to talk to Mayor, Mayor White about that. <laughs> Uh, but a litany of successes one by one that collectively, working together, we've been able to achieve right here in this beautiful, historic Bull Street District. This is an important day for a number of different reasons. Not just another notch on successes, but a homecoming, an accomplishment for one of our own. And it's my pleasure uh, to um, introduce uh, to some of you and, and certainly all of us, I, 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 I can hear the stomachs grumbling as we, as we speak, saying, <laughs> y'all hurry up and wrap up, we want to taste the food. Uh, but one of our own, uh, our own success story featured in, in GQ and, and, and Garden and Gun and on the Cooking Channel, our own Scott Hall. Wow. Um, Mom and Dad, uh, we've come a long way from the food truck about eight years ago. Um, <clears throat> it's still something that every time I walk into this restaurant, um, I get chills and sometimes uh, wet eyes, as I'm getting right now. Um, I'm very honored to be, uh, to be here in Columbia and in this amazing, incredible project. Um, I'm excited to be paying taxes in Columbia, and I'm going to get to that any week now. I'm real close. Any day now, I'm going to get to that. Um, we've, uh, this is a real group effort. Um, I've got some people that have come up um, with the catering and the food truck that have, have really just put their heart and soul into this place. I'm, I'm super honored. Um, Matt Pate in the kitchen, he's helping me do some incredible stuff. He's heading our kitchen. He's our pit master. Um, Tiz and Kevin, we've come a long way. Um, it's such an honor to be here and to be the first restaurant in this project that we are all just so excited about. When we, when they walked us through here and kind of pitched the idea to me, um, I was like, "There's, it's scary, but there is no way that we're not doing this." And um, man, I'm just humbled and floored. We've got great food. We're open for lunch and dinner, so make sure you come in. Um, it's uh, we do great catering. We've got all the stuff, the stuff from the truck that we that we made Columbia love so much, and. Uh, We've got that and more. We got a bar now, finally, which is something that they wouldn't let me do in the truck. Um, so we're just really, really honored to be here. We're really excited to be a part of it, and, and thank you guys for coming so much. Uh, have some drinks, have some food, and um, welcome to my place. <laughs> 